Hi there, this is Johnny of Man and Machine. This is going to be a very quick overview on adaptive components. It's not going to really go into any detail about them, it's just what they can do. Um, so, adaptive components inside of Revit um, are essentially things that can adapt to points inside of Revit, um, for want of a, a better expression of, of what they can do. The one that we're looking at here is a pattern adaptive component, so these would be used for things like facades, uh, space frames, anything that you need to go over a surface or be draped over a surface. The way it works is you have uh, points um, and when these points move, uh, then the component itself will flex to take the shape of however that surface is being, um, or how the form of the surface is being created. So in this case, we have four points, so you'd use this on a gridded surface. Um, you can get different shapes inside of Revit, so you can get things like hexagons, um, just essentially different grids that you can work with. So things like hexagons, they have six points, octagons eight points, um, but you would use them basically to adapt different surfaces, perhaps. So what this would create once it has adapted to a surface is something along the lines of perhaps this. So this is that exact panel, but just copied and adapted over multiple um, points in a grid. Um, so we have a kind of uh, waving space frame, if you like, here. Um, so it can create very fluid forms inside of Revit. Um, and this is kind of a Revit perhaps that isn't used as much as um, what you see in a lot of other tutorial videos. But like I say, this is just an overview of what you can do, so you're aware of what you can do. Um, and then once you've got something like this, it looks fantastic in uh, something like Revit. So this is just uh, Enscape, that's, um, sorry, Enscape, it looks great in Enscape. And this is linked directly to Revit. So any changes that you would make in uh, Revit would update this uh, view here. You can see there we've got quite a nice space frame. Space frame. And it doesn't take long to build something like this inside of Revit. The, the hardest part of this is creating the, uh, first of all, the right shape for the surface and also setting up the um, adaptive component in the first place. So hopefully this has given you a bit of an overview on what is Revit has the capabilities to do further to what maybe you have seen in the past. Uh, but if you have any questions on this video at all, please do contact us at Man and Machine. Thank you very much.